Hello and welcome to Neptune Stadium. It is media day ahead of the Irish Cup Finals taking place this weekend in the National Basketball Arena in Dublin. We're not in Dublin right now, we're in Cork because all four finalists, men and women, are from the Rebel County. And so I'm down here meeting the players, the coaches, looking ahead to both games. First up, we're going to have the men's finalists, that's Ballancolic and it's Blue Demons. And let's hear from the players and coaches. It's great. As we've been talking about before, obviously we're only back in Super League two years, so it is a new generation of Demons players. I just hung around for a little bit longer to try to get in, you know. So the lads are looking forward to it, we're looking forward to it. And like obviously, you know, you got the big win in the local derby last time. It's another Cork club this time. Like are we just we're seeing a real sort of resurgence in the strength of Cork basketball at the moment. Yeah, obviously that's the talking point because obviously the women's Super League final is obviously two uh, Cork teams as well. So obviously as Cork people, you know, we'd always be proud of that. So we try to hold on to that mantle for another time. And I'd like to ask you though, a simple question: Where are the winning and the losing of this game be? Um, you know, it's it's a tough one. I say the preparation, honestly, is. If, if you do the preparation right and sometimes it doesn't come to fruition, that is the winning and the losing of the game. That's great. And I suppose the last thing I want to ask you, Kyle, is for you, like, you know, in terms of making sure you, at your craggy, ancient body that you have now, <laughs> just in, but like, what do you think will be the most important thing for you to do when you're out on the floor on Saturday night? Um, look, I think once you're on the floor, right, your body is fine, no matter what you play through, it will push through something. Um, it's, it's just the, the preparation, again, coming up to the cup week, I do what my body allows me to do, and then come the game time, obviously the adrenaline, it's a, it's a different feeling in your body, so I think my body will be fine. Does it help that you're slight underdogs? Um, absolutely, we've been underdogs, we've been we playing early this year in the cup, but we have been. So, um, why, why not go to the final with that underdog tag as well? Great. Obviously, you're back after a year in Germany. Like, what's it like to be back to Balancholic? Oh, it's good, man. You know, it's like home. So for me, it's always enjoyable to be back here. Um, love, the, love the people, love the village, love the community, love the club. So, you know, it's just like being at home, man. Can't, can't be mad at it. I'm like, what was it like when you got the call? Yeah, um, it was cool. You know, um, unfortunate situation happened with another American. He broke his uh, ankle. Uh, but to get the call from them, you know, was was a relief for me because I wanted to come back somewhere to that I trusted and that I knew wasn't going to be any pressure on me, you know, after having the Achilles surgery and all that stuff. So for me, you know, it was, you know, I was grateful, uh, thankful and, you know, just just happy at the same time. And like before I ask about the fight, like I got to ask you about like last year in Germany because obviously my friend Pat was over there as well. Yeah. Like, uh, what was it like playing that season, dude? Oh, man, it was good, man. It was a different style of play. Like more faster, uh, the league was a little bit more professional, so it was like you know we practice sometimes two, three times a day. Um, so it was a little different, uh, something I had to get used to again. But um, I loved it, man. It, it was a great experience for me. Uh, unfortunately, my season ended, you know, kind of early. I had I had another injury earlier in the year as well too. So I think I ended up playing like maybe like 10, 11 games. But uh, I enjoyed it, man. It was definitely fun and um, definitely thankful for uh, again for you know bringing me out and. and their team so and you played a couple of cup finals from Alcoholic in the past what's this one mean to you man uh, I mean this is always, they're always special man just to get here um, you know just being here for a couple of years I know you know what the cup actually really means and the significance of it uh, so to be able to do it with, with them again you know it's, it's definitely special for me it's special for us it's the first time we get into a cup so happy enough about it just talking in here between the interviews if you haven't already please hit the subscribe button Obviously, it's a big final for Demons. Like, how are you feeling going into it? I'm really excited. I don't think there's any pressure on us. We're, we've been underdogs in every game in the Cup so far, and we've come out on top. So all we ask for is to execute our game plan and do it once more. And like, it's a club, obviously, you all are very familiar with your pain against. Like, does that like, change the dynamic at all? Uh, no, not really. At the end of the day, I'd say, I'd say the same. It doesn't matter who you play in the Cup final. You just want to win and do everything you can. To and, like, and like, across between the men and the women, all four teams are from Cork. Yeah. Like, Really big time for basketball at least. Like. Yeah, it's a really, it's it's a, it's a it's a good thing really that four teams from Park uh, representing us in the finals. But at the end of the day, it's us who have to come out on top, and that's all we're focused on. Yeah, feeling good. You know, it's been a sharp race for us. Third season, you know, semi-final last year, losing to Aina really stung. Um, so hoping, to, hoping to have a good performance. You know, I think we're ready. I think the nature we've gotten there has been. Interesting, you know, kind of a Houdini act up in Temple Oak. We're down by eight with about two minutes to go. Tough game up in, in Belfast against UJ. Could have gone either way. And then uh, we won on the buzzer here uh, two weeks ago with, with Keelan Kern's shot against Tralee. So, look, we, we could have lost at any stage getting there. But, you know, we've probably played well enough too to, to get to a final. Um, so we're happy that we're here. But we know we're up against tough opposition who 
equally, if, if not more so, have had a really tough road to get to the final as well. So they'll feel they'll have every chance as well. I was going to say, for you as a coach though, making sure all the games, as long as you won them, were tough on the way, it's good for making sure the guys don't get complacent, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, big time. We've had a lot of those games, uh, we, especially in the league as well. Last week, the Kilorgan came down to the last last minute as well. So we've had a lot of those games, um, but but come out on the right side, and that, and that's that's it exactly. So. It's going to be a tough game. Um, the buzz is huge down here. You know, the, I think both sets of crowds will be really looking forward to the game. And you know, I think it's been good for Cork basketball this week, the last week or two, with four teams in, in the two finals. You know, and like I've always thought, like the two toughest league games of the season for a cup final team are the week before and the week after. Mm -hmm. For you as a coach, obviously, week before it went, you know, went okay. Uh, like you got the week after to come as well. How are you going to try and sort of? Because obviously, no matter what happens, there's going to be an emotional sort of, you know, oomph after the final. So, have you any thoughts on how you manage? That on, on Sunday morning. Yeah, it's it's very hard, and and I think it's getting harder just with the nature of the league, the talent in the league, and and every week is a tough game. And then you you throw the Southern Conference, you know, just how you're looking at the table every week. On someone slips up or someone wins the game, and you're going, you're not home and hose at any stage. So, yeah, you just have to be ready every week. I think the strength and depth of your squad is massive, um, but but the, some of the results have been strange in, in terms of. You know, I've said this today and, and to other people that 10 point leads, 15 point leads with the two American League, a guy can get hot for a few minutes and you can close that gap very quickly. So you just have to be on your game all the time and yeah, good point, you know, good point. And so where's the winning and the losing gonna be Saturday night? I think I think you've game changers on both teams. I think you've got guys, Irish guys who've been there before, who know what it's like. You've got really exciting Americans. I think Sean Dale Jones versus Seven Woods would be a really interesting matchup. Um, I think for, for both teams it's shot selection, transition, I think both teams are, are, are two of the highest scoring teams in the league and, and getting out in the fast break, I think, you know, reducing those points for, for the opposition and then making sure in your half court you're taking good shots because if you don't, if you turn it over, take a bad shot, it's been ran back at you quickly. So I think that's probably going to be the winning and losing. Um, that'll be the focus point for both teams, I'd imagine, you know. And so that was the men's finalists, Balancholic and Blue Demons. Now it's on to the women's finalists, which is Father Matthews and Brunel. What's it been like playing with Brunel these past few months? Um, I can honestly say it's probably been like one of my best experiences. Um, I've been playing overseas for three, this is my third year. And honestly playing with Brunel is like my best experience. Like even just down with the team and like just the club as a whole, like everybody's nice. Like the work ethic between each girl on the court is like crazy insane. Like I've never had like a team where it's like everybody's so dedicated. Like even our coach, he drives like two hours and some like minutes to get here every day for practice so it's like it has been great so far and where else were you playing overseas before you landed um, here i played two years in portugal i was playing on the island the first year and then i was playing like not too far from lisbon oh sweet yeah yeah, yeah. so like you know what what, what, what what do you prefer the food in portugal or the food in ireland the food in ireland really <laughs> i love to eat i i haven't had a bad experience with any of the food yet like i just go and i try different foods and 10 out of 10 so far. Now, I've got to ask for the basketball side of things, obviously. Yeah. You're going in as favourites on Sunday, which is a tough tag for most people. Like, you know, do you feel that's, that pressure mounting on you? No. I just feel like, I mean, I feel like the pressure is what keeps us going. Like, you know, like, not just because, like, everybody else putting pressure on us, but, like, we know that the spotlight's on us. So, like, we do everything that we can do as teams, as, like, the two Americans to just, like, push through. Like, the pressure's, like, I was taking like it's positive, not nothing like negative to like bring us down. Like we ready, honestly. And like you know, on, on the being ready part, because you got such a broad mix in terms of experience and ages. Like you know, in terms of especially with your Irish players, like going from some of your youngest players are Irish, some of your oldest players are Irish. Like you know, what's it like blending all those different personalities together? Um, I feel like that's the best part about us because we have that them different age ranges. So like you have like the energy, then you have like the brains, and then like you have like the dedication, like it's. I feel like that's the best part about our team because we are like different in ages so like each age group has the thing that they bring to the team so so it's, it's obviously the game is live online around the world so where are your family be tuning in from um maryland oh brilliant yeah back in the united states of course it's, well, it's been a while since I've been in Maryland, but I do love crab, I tell you that much, like, you know, it's like I went to Annapolis a couple of years ago, <laughs> amazing place. Yeah. Uh, and so lastly, in terms of sort of, you know, where the winning and losing of this game is, because you obviously know a lot about playing for the Matthews, where do you think the key battles are going to be in the course? Um, our defense. Um, I feel like when we played them the first time, we kind of lacked defensively, um, but we've been preparing, like, to, 
do better this time and like the things that we messed up on this time like we focusing in, focusing in more on them in practice because like that was really our downfall i would say like the third end of third beginning of fourth is where like we like clicked back and was like oh we are like doing very bad on defense and then i think that's what like helped us get that win so now moving forward into the cup we know like we have to have that defense intensity from the beginning like we have to do really well on defense and just try to stop them defensively so we can bring stuff you know add points to the board offensively we're more used to seeing you with men's teams reaching into major finals it's your first year as a women's coach cup final the first year how does that feel um i don't know if it's, it's necessarily feels different per se because it's women um uh it's an understandable question uh i think Everything is a project, and I, I know that's cliche, but everything is a project. It's like, can you go from X to Y by Z? I don't know if we would have, I don't know if going to the cup final in year one was, was uh, Z, but, um, <laughs> but, uh, but we're gonna take it, and, we're, you know, and, and, and we'll go from there. But it's, 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 it's a strong enough project to work with because of the character of the kids in the team, you know? And like, listen, because you got a real broad mix of ages in the first senior, yeah, senior yeah. team. Obviously, you got the like, Gronya and Eve would be at the older end of the team, and sure. you got a lot of younger players. Sure. What's it been like for you blending that sort of difference in terms of age and experience together? Um, it's it's been easier than you would think because of the internal leadership. I think you have a chance to be competitive. You have a chance to be pretty good when you have strong internal leadership. Uh, all Niev did really was move over a seat. Yeah. Do you know, going from head coach back into playing, you know, she's on the floor. So there, there's, there's internal leadership, and then there's literally having a coach on the floor, and that's what she's brought to the table. And then you have the experience of, of, of Grania. I mean, she has, I mean, countless, countless days up in the arena, and uh, you know, for the cup and things like that. So that that infiltrates the team and, and it brings a, a calmness and a, a steely edge to the team because she tends to impose herself, you know? Yeah, uh, that definitely, in all matters of life. In all matters, yeah. Uh, so, but you've got the one nice thing going in your favor is you get to be slight underdogs going into the final. Like, so no one's ruling you out, but no one's crowning you either. I, appreci nice? I appreciate you saying slight. Okay, but you is know? that a nice edge to have, like, you know? Uh, look, uh, I think on the day when the ball goes up, we're going to be competitive. But there's also a reality. They're like 15 and one, or 14 and one, or whatever they are in their record. With their only loss being the game that Adele missed, you know, effectively they're undefeated with Adele, mm. and 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 that and that's a hill for us to to to, to try to take over and to, to a hill for us to climb. So I think on the day if if if, if we compete with energy mm. and 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 uh, and we play connected, we have to play connected. We can't play disjointed. Um, and we can't allow Brunel to make us disjointed, so we have to have a, an unflappability. And I, I think when we do that, we could pretty much play with any team in the country. And of course, both finals are all Cork, like, and you of course have made your life in Cork. Like, yep. what's it like for you, like seeing sort of, you know, the other capital, as some people would call it. Uh, I'm not going to claim that because of my accent. Uh, like, what's it like for you, though, seeing like all four teams and the two big finals being Cork teams? Um, I, it's beyond luck. It's, yeah. You know, I mean, it is beyond luck. There's, 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 um, there's an edge to the clubs around Cork where there's a strong appreciation for the history of the game in Ireland, and and they are historic clubs. You know, by by some standards, say a Brunel and a Father Matthews would be new kids on the block. However, they're not when you look when you look a bit deeper mm. in terms of the, 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 the people behind the clubs and and things like that. And 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 uh, so there, there's a strong appreciation for the cup. There's, a, there's always been an emphasis on the cup because of, of what comes with it and, 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 and maybe, maybe it's the razzmatazz or the, the way the media tend to show up on the day. Um, but, uh, and there's a lot of pride in Cork and, and it's a sporting town and it's a sporting county and, and, and if there's an opportunity for something to be handed away at the end of a match, the Cork people want to be there. So Taylor, it's uh, incredible to be talking to you again. Obviously, you were very happy after you all won in that uh, semi-final a couple of weeks ago. How are you feeling now ahead of the final? Just preparing myself. Uh, really, that's it. And, and like, what's it been like for you like playing over here in, in Ireland? Is this your first overseas season? Uh, I played three months in Iceland. This is my first like official, official season, yeah. And, and so what's it been like settling down here in Cork? Uh, it's different. It's different. I think European basketball is different from our type of basketball all around though. So I think it's going to be different either way, wherever I go.
And like obviously for the Matthews, it's a local rival of Brunel, even though you're playing them all the way from Dublin. Like, do you feel that rivalry, like, you know, talking to people during the week coming up to it? Yeah, I do. I, it, they ask me, like, you know, are we prepared? Uh, how do we feel about playing them? Meaning that, like, we beat them by one last time. Just questions like that. Okay, I'm going to finish with a nice easy one. So for you to be at your best on Sunday, what, where do you need to make sure you get things right? Mental. Uh, basketball is... 80% mental, 20% basketball, so I think it's just really a mental game. If I get my mental down, I think I'll be okay. So, Gron, you're back in a cup final, but a different jersey than what you're used to seeing in a cup final. What's it like doing it with Matthews? Um, do you know what? It's actually, well, listen, being back in a cup final is amazing. I mean, I think everyone I've competed in is always like a special occasion. They don't come that often, and I've played in a, in, in a fair few, but like, one's just as good as the other and as euphoric as the other like semis for me this year I think you know, coming to I suppose the end I won't say the end of my career but the, the latter end of it that I started to enjoy it more embrace it more and, and take it all in um, yeah I've definitely I've played in cup finals for Wildcats Glanmire and now with matches and I think this one is kind of special like you know we got to the cup, uh, cup semis my first year five years ago Brunel actually defeated us here in Neptune Stadium uh, in the semis and went on to the final. So it's been, um, it's it's uh, my last year with Glenmire, then six years ago. It's been six years since I've been in the cup final, so I'm really looking forward to it. And like, so for you, because obviously you and me both have played so many cup finals, most of your team, a bit in the younger side, less experience. Like, how important is that going to be on Sunday, do you think, having that experience on the floor? I think it showed in the semi. Mm. And I think it showed in our performance alone this season. I think bringing back that little bit of experience, that more level-headed, like Neve's a serious point guard. She's great vision on, on the floor and she's a great basketball IQ. And that's not disrespecting any of the younger people on our team, but, but experience at the end of the day is, is, is what gets you over the line sometimes. Like, so we have Neve that can come in, run the show, and then we have these girls and younger players coming energetic, ready to push the ball and drive it on. So it's, it's having that balance and that dynamic is great. And like for you, for you, obviously Sunday, it's a rare for you to be an underdog in a cup final. Like you have had a couple of times where you were. Like you know, does that help at all having the underdogs tag at all? You know, I think I think having the underdogs dogs tag it takes the pressure off you for sure. But like we're rightly um, named the underdogs. We're now number one on the table. You know, I've been watching them perform all year. They put in a serious shift. And like they're forced to be reckoned with, but you know what we've been focusing on is ourselves, you know, and what we have to do to get over the line on Sunday. And so for Matthews to get the win on Sunday, what do you all need to make sure you get right? Everything. Um, no, it's a cup final, you know, uh, league records go out the window as they say. Um, it's a 40 minute game, you win at the end of that game and you win a cup and I suppose what we need to get right is defence. Um, like putting in a shift defensively and offensively we have to play for 40 minutes as do Brunel you know to get over the line and I'm hoping and looking forward to it and it should be a good game so both finals of course live on Tiki Kahar and around the world online and if, if you haven't already please be sure you know hit the subscribe button here it all helps